in this session we are going to cover about the conditions so conditions in the sense i hope you know about the if if else necessary and switch so we have four types of conditions in c c++ or core java or any programming language these are the common so here i'm creating a list for you so just i'm taking a new notepad and these are the first one is the so the first one is a if condition so basically we are call this one as a simple if but only if there is no simple but usually the people mm -hmm. are calling this is simple if and second okay. one is it is a combo if and else okay so then we have nested if so now today we are going to learn about these things the first one is the simple if first let, let me show you the syntax how it looks same like c language here we have a keyword that is nothing but if keyword this is if and here we are writing the condition what is condition yesterday uh, when we discussed about the operators we have seen the logical operators yeah and the relational operators those operators we need to apply within the parentheses in the place of a condition okay. then this if condition has your body actually the body will be in double flower brackets within the flower bracket so the code related to this condition how much you want you need to write within the flower bracket so getting my point yeah now we see this example in live before going to the live what i do here i will give you a simple example so here i'm writing here if before that i'm taking two variables in the a equal to 10 then b equal to 15 so now here i'm writing the condition like a greater than b then uh, within the scope of if condition just i'm going to write console dot write welcome okay so what happens here we'll see in fact so same thing i'm going to copy and paste in main method now see this now run this before running what i'm doing here just i'm placing here console dot read to stay back the screen now run the application So you cannot see the output anything simply you can see the blank screen because here the purpose of the condition is when we check the condition if it is true then only it will execute this block otherwise it will not do this operation okay in that situation for example uh, if you go for any login page user will enter user id and password if those user id and password are valid only we are redirecting to some other edge device right otherwise we display a message of uh, invalid credentials so like in so many situations uh, these conditions are very useful so you can see here uh, i will introduce a new future not a new future a great future we can say that is nothing but breakpoint so what is the usage of breakpoint we can see what is happening here we have only five lines of code so you can trace easily but when you come into the real world we have hundred thousand lines of code so then what is happening we can analyze by using the breakpoint 
okay this is known as breakpoint here we have a uh, something like a gray color right so this is a simple panel on this if you click a ball will come red ball this is known as breakpoint so this breakpoint you can uh, when you can make wherever you want here 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 so but the thing is uh, what is the usage of this breakpoint when you run the compiler what it will do it will start a process right after some uh, pre-processor it will come to the main method in the sense to this line so when the compiler comes to this line so it stops for us from this line we can see line by line how it is executing now i will show you it's very simple just to make the breakpoint wherever you want then simply start the program run the program as usual okay now give the breakpoint came then f11 function key 11 press function key 11 to move line by line so it is initializing a equal to 10 so before this step you cannot see any value in a 0 right so after this you can see the value a equal to 10 now b equal to 50 now see here you know a greater than b 10 is greater than 15 it is false so you will get the result here false so if it is false what it will do it will not execute this block simply it will skip see this after condition it came directly to the read method like you can see what is happening line by line this is very great feature really and now what i'm doing here i'm applying here less than okay now run the same program Now press F11, function key 11, same steps, A equal to 10, B equal to 15, this time 10 less than 15, you know, it is true. Now what it will do, compiler will come inside, earlier it skips from here, right, now this time it, it comes to inside and it completes the code whatever you Okay, we completed within the block. After that, it will come to the read. So anyway, this is the basic usage of a condition. So what happens here? We are giving some condition. This is very simple relational condition, right? If you want, you can apply the logical. When we are applying the logical, we pick up more than one relational. We are applying the logical. So in the sense you can write like this by and then some condition. Some condition in the sense I'm taking one more variable. C equal to 25. Then you can write like this. A less than B and C F sorry A less than C. Then only come to the block. Otherwise you don't come to the block. Okay, suppose in this case, if you are giving the R operator, how it checks, either it is true or it is true, it will come inside. When you apply here and what happens? If both are true, then only come inside. If you are giving your R, if one is true, then come inside got it like here you can apply your logical operators uh, so it depends on the requirement so anyway this is a simple syntax for the if condition understood now the next one is the if else it is very simple uh, i think no need the syntax also here what we are doing uh, if a less than b we are giving here welcome right 
So instead of welcome, what I'm writing here, b is a big value. B is the biggest value. I'm giving like this. Suppose if a is greater than b, what we need to do? We need to write here. In console dot right line, a is the biggest value. So when we are using this one, so almost we are using this one because uh, in every case we need to uh, do something alternative. For example, if you took the previous example login page, if user enter valid, then we are redirecting to the otherwise page. If invalid, what we need to do? We need to do this one, right? Then it is valid. Do something. Invalid. Do something. Earlier we have only one block. If it is true, it will execute. Otherwise, it will not do anything. But now we have two blocks. So compulsory, if this block will execute or this block will execute. Got it? One one block is going to execute at any cost. Either if or else block. So. Just I'm keeping the breakpoint at the same point. Now here you can see A equal to 10, then B equal to 15. Now here, you know it is a true value. So it will come inside and print B is the biggest value. And this time it will not come to else block. Simply after that it will come to the read. Okay, so now again, what I'm doing here, start the program. This time, before running this program, what you do, make this one as, this one as 20. Now the value is 20, a value. In the sense, it is not less than B. So this time, this condition will false. Now it skips this block and it will not check further condition blindly it will execute this one. If it is false, blindly it will execute this one. Got it? There is no condition here. So now it's come inside to the else block and execute that one. Now this time you can get A is the biggest one. Like depend on the situation, we are using the simple if or if x. Okay. Now the next one is nested if. What is nested if? So it is also very simple. Sometimes what we need to do, we need to check more than one condition. For example, um, suppose take a student grades, A grade, B grade, C grade, D grade, right? So 80% A grade. First, what we need to do, we need to check grade is uh, greater than 80%. Then if it is not, then what we need to do, we need to check with 60%. Again, we need to check with some other 50%. If three grades are not matching then alternately we are giving the fourth grade so in the sense there is a chance to check more than one condition then we are using if else if else if else if how many times if you want you can finally else got it so i will explain this one now what i do here I will take a variable that is nothing but a total. I will ask the user enter the total marks he got. Okay, right line. 
enter the box you got whatever you want you can display now the user enters the value that value what you need to do you need to initialize into the total and here just i'm placing total as uh, integer only that's why what we need to do we need to convert into the integer just i'm converting the value into the integer so we you know convert dot we have a method into 22 then here we need to convert into the total now here i'm writing the condition sorry here not the total we are getting total from console dot read line user enters the value right we are reading that value with the help of console or read line it returns a string value that's why we are converting into the integer and we are storing into the total variable now here i'm checking here total is greater than 80 okay then console dot write line grade is a then again i'm checking total with if total is greater than 60 then console dot right line grade is b then i'm checking here total is greater than 50 then console dot right line grade is c okay again i'm writing one more condition here that is if total is less than 50 less than or equal to 50 grade is d understood now run this program i'm giving the total as 55 so according to our condition so it is greater than 50 so it will give you grade is c got it no, but here in this case it is correct but in other case for example i am giving this time as 70 so what is the expected output 70 in the sense greater than 60 right so it has to give grade is b but it gives you two outputs first one is a grade b and second one is a grade c got it so why why it is showing these two messages because here we are checking each and every time total is greater than 80 so we have given 70 so it skips this one then it comes to the next condition total is greater than 60 so 70 is greater than 60 that's why it is giving the grade as b then again we are checking the total 70 is greater than 50 again it is giving the c got my point so because these two conditions are getting true that's why we are getting two outputs one is b and one is c so to overcome this what we need to do we need to use else else if and here also else if and when we are using the else if then no need 
uh, no need to have the last condition simply you can make it as else this time if you give the same 70 as input you get the only one grade is b so what makes the difference it is very simple if you are using like this here how many blocks we have one two three four blocks among these four blocks only one block is going to execute suppose if the condition is true this block okay here then the compiler will not bother about these uh, other blocks simply it skips those blocks got it so we can save the time as well as uh, this duplication i mean wrong outputs also we can work okay now i will show you uh, for example just i'm making your breakpoint here you can see this run the application now press f11 it will ask you enter some value okay now this i keep 70 press enter now we have the value 70 okay now the condition is false so what it will do it will come to the next condition now here the condition is true right so it will come inside and it will print this message and simply it skips the rest of the blocks got it so now you get only one line suppose as we completed as previous one by using simple if conditions what happens same code but simple ifs okay run the program now press 11 it will ask you the input just i'm giving the same input the value as 70 press enter now the condition is here it is false okay now here it is true so it prints on the screen grid is p again what is doing it is coming to the next condition so 70 is greater than 50 again it is true already, already we have the message on the screen like grade is b after this condition again it prints grade is c got it so like it depends on the situation we need to use simple if or if else or nested if but so where which one is the sortable we need to decide so in this example if and else if is the sortable one but sometimes suppose a student is there we need to find out in which subject he failed okay suppose we have three subjects we need to check each and every subject then if else if is not so we need to write like this simple if for each and everything 